warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Inshallah I can say the two words. I will share with you that between my very first meeting with my dear brother Sheikh Hanuti and the last meeting, they were about 65 years apart. The last meeting was about two weeks ago where he attended the aqiqah of my youngest grandchild. We sat together and talked a lot about our relationship, our history, about my elder brother who is colleague in Iraq and the fact that he had to leave Iraq a few days ago with his family. But the more important thing is I want to share with you my first meeting with him. Although it was more than 65 years ago, I still remember it so vividly because it was so unique. Shortly after they left Palestine with his, that very special Sheikh Ali Hanuti, he was a unique person. He was a man that shortly after came, he came to Iraq and to my hometown, Mosul. He was going around to be introduced and visit the scholars, ulama of Mosul. So he came to visit my father. I think I was probably between eight and ten at that time. I can't remember the year exactly they came in. When he walked in as a child, I felt something very special happened in that room. I felt like angels ushered him in. He had so much nur in him. I mean, even as a child, I just could not hold my feeling. What is this person? Who is he? Why is he coming with so much nur and so much an aura of angels around him? That was Sheikh Ali al Hanuti, rahmatullah Ali. Diminutive figure, thin but full of muscles, walking with a stick, and with him a young boy called Muhammad, who was taking him around. At that time, of course, we had to occupy each other while my father and Sheikh Ali were busy talking about the situation of ulama in Mosul and so on. Then it happened that he joined my elder brother in schooling and so on. And then so happened we met here in the United States. And we, and we sat through many sessions of the Fiqh Council. Sheikh Muhammad Hanuti, Allah Ta'ala blessed him with so much insight, courage, and wisdom to impart on this community so many, many positions, decisions, guidelines, where he was not hesitant to say what we say the major ruling in Usul that he was seeking a way to make life for this Muslim minority community facilitated, easy, practical, workable, livable. And that's what I think is going to weigh so heavily in his hasanat, inshallah, when he stands in front of Allah Ta'ala. I will be there to testify, inshallah, on his behalf that Ya Rabbi, he gave so much to this community from different fatwa, from different courageous positions when the traditional position was almost cursing him for that. But he felt this is the truth. This Islam is an easy religion. There's no haraj, there's no hardship in it. So we have to pursue it with this. That was what's great about him. So I joined him in several fiqh council meetings. I joined him with several seminars at Triple IT, our office. And then, as I said in the last meeting we came, we sat quite a while actually together, exchanging ideas. Then the time came for somebody to give us a few, a few words about the significance of Aqiqa. They asked me, I said, no, in the presence of Sheikh Hanuti, I would like him to. And alhamdulillah, he did oblige and stood up, said some, conveyed some beautiful words about what Aqiqa is all about and so on. It's somebody who has given so much. He's somebody who struggled to the last day of his life. It's this way we ask Allah Ta'ala to accept him among what's the ulama al-amilun, al-ulama al-mujahidun, al-ulama al-salihun, insha'Allah. Ya Rabbi, accept this gathering to testify for his goodness, 
for his work and sacrifice to this community. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.